we will focus on observing the body today. And the main reason why we will focus on the body is because the body actually speaks to us. It tries to tell us, it tries to tell us something and we need to decode the message. When we communicate with people, when we say something, for example, I'm going to share one example. When I judge people, right away my body reacts and I feel in a certain way. The moment I recognize, the moment I become aware of that, I have the power because I'm the creator to change this. By observing, by noticing, I may change my old bad habits, but I need to be aware. If I'm not aware, there is no way to change anything. Another example, when I eat something that is not good for my body, but I enjoy it. For example, I eat a treat and yes, it tastes, it's really delicious. But when I notice how my body feels and reacts, do, is it really the best food? that my body needs? Is that really what my body needs? And if I start feeling pain in my liver, for example, when I eat treats and when my blood sugar goes up, then the body is trying to tell me something. And do I have uh, the power to really listen, to be aware and to recognize? When I exercise, my body is trying to tell me something that I'm about to hurt myself. So again, I have the power. Do I want to modify the pose in a way that I'm going to feel well? Yes, I'm working hard, but I don't want to go to that point where I'm causing pain and I'm creating more suffering for myself. So it is up to us, it is up to each one of us to decide what is best for our bodies by listening and recognizing. When I went to my retreat, 11 day silent retreat, the yoga teacher said, the body is made of a lot of subatomical particles and each of these particles vibrates and it records the message that you send to the body, to that cell. And what happens over time? If you're sending negative messages to your body, these cells, they record, they have memory. And at some point, if you don't give your body some rest, if you don't give the body some time to recover, you will start feeling pain here and there. And the body's trying to tell you something. It is time to change. It is time to change in a way that you're not hurting yourself. And you have the power. And that's what we're doing with this practice. Yes, it is a one hour and 10 minute practice, but these are skills that we may apply in our everyday life. So we don't do the yoga practice and we forget about it. No, we're trying to build these skills to try to become more aware and mindful of who we truly are, become aware of our bodies, listening to our true voice coming from within and then create some positivity for ourselves first and then for others. And I think it's time to start the practice. And today we're going to start in standing. Ground your feet, connect with the yoga mat, open your chest, relax your shoulders, arms by the side and close your eyes. And I invite you in this mountain pose to observe your body, to acknowledge how do you feel right now at this moment. If there is any disturbing thought, return to your breath because you are right now on the yoga mat. You are right now in this present moment safe. Focus on your body, connect with your body. And place palms in front of heart center and let's connect and let's set up the intention for today's class. I observe my body and I listen to my body. I observe my body and I listen to my body. You may open your eyes 
and with, using the tips of the fingers, massage your skull, massage the top of the head. And while you're doing so, please try, try, try to become aware of the sensations. What is happening in the body right now at this moment when you're pressing? What kind of sensations are, sensations are you generating, creating for yourself? Massaging the back of the head. Bringing some kindness and love to every part of the body. We don't treat only one part, we work with the whole. Continue with your forehead, massage your forehead, sending some love to your forehead. And then your eyebrows, and your cheeks, and your nose. Massaging, sending love, taking a good care of yourself, your chin. And then down to your neck, massaging the front and the back of the neck. How do you feel when you're taking care of yourself? Acknowledge that. And then slowly, gently pull your ears down by pressing, activating various centers. And then pull your ears up. And then back. And start rolling, moving your ears in one direction, using your index and thumb, in reverse direction. And relax your arms, and for a moment I invite you to close your eyes and just become, bring your attention to your head, to all of these parts that you just took care of. How do you feel? Do you notice any difference? We just started the practice. Do you notice anything? And whatever it is, just be there to observe. You may open your eyes, relax your arms completely and bring your head over to your left side and look above your left shoulder and keep twisting and moving your head over to the left. As long as your body allows you to move, not to the point where you cause pain. Inhale to center and exhale over to the other side. Shoulders completely relaxed. Inhale to center and bring the head back. And keep your head heavy. Inhale to center and bring the chin towards your chest. Inhale to center and bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Keep your head there. And while you're here, observe what's happening in the right side of the neck. The head is heavy. Inhale, head up and over to the other side. And the rest of the body is also active. You're not collapsing. You're actively working with your feet, legs. Your whole body is straight. Inhale, back up. And let's bring the head over to the left, to the front, to the right, and back. And make these circles as big as possible. Try not to lift your shoulders. And remember to breathe. Right now, at this moment, you're not breathing in the past, you're not breathing in the, in the future. If you miss your breath, it's gone. The present moment is gone. Reverse direction, move in opposite direction. Breathing, enjoying this present moment. And last round, and when you reach your left shoulder, head to center. Let's roll the shoulders up, back, down into the front. Opening the chest, creating space for more peace and love. And as you move your shoulders forward, you exhale and release toxins, negativity, whatever your body doesn't need. That's why it's so important to breathe. Reverse direction. And relax. On the next inhale, lift your arms up and look up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, towards the sun. And imagine your arms are trying to lift you off the mat so you're 
really stretching and lengthening. And as you exhale, bring your body over to the left side. What a nice morning stretch. And you're still looking in between your hands. Inhale, arms up, exhale over to the other side. And with each exhale, try to deepen and lower. You're lengthening and lowering, lengthening and lowering. Inhale, arms up, exhale one more time over to the, to the left. With the inhale, I'm lengthening, with the exhale, lowering, lengthening and lowering. Inhale, arms up, exhale over, last time to the right. Inhale, arms up, exhale, interlock the fingers behind your back and try to lift your arms high, high, high up. Opening the chest, breathing. How is your body at this moment? We're not interested about the past anymore. Right now, at this moment. And as you exhale, hinging at the hip, moving forward, fold, forward and down, bring your arms overhead. And right now at this moment, how do I feel my legs, my hamstrings, my glutes, my back, my shoulders, my arms? How about my feet? Don't forget, this is all one. Inhale, lift yourself back up and back to standing. Hands on the waist, and on the next inhale, let's lift the left foot off the mat and start opening the hip and making circular, moving in a circular direction, clockwise direction. Opening the hip, and this is also a balancing movement. You really need to ground. And remember, you always have the option to use a chair, the wall, something to help you with the balance. Reverse direction. Opening the hip. And breathing. How is your breath? Be curious about your breath. What kind of a breath is it? And relax your foot. If you need to massage your toes, now is the time. And whenever you're ready, right foot off the mat, opening the hip. Breathing, enjoying this present moment. I'm grateful for taking this time to practice, to be with myself and to share with others. Reverse direction. Last time. And release your foot. Let's wake up the knees, hands on the knees, and let's start moving in one direction, bringing the hips back, circular movements. How are my knees? I'm curious about my knees. Do I feel anything? Do I hear any cracks, any sounds? I'm there to observe. Reverse direction. Be curious about your body. Your body knows the truth. And on the next inhale, back to standing. On the next inhale, lift your left foot off the mat and let's warm up the left ankle. Circular movements, one direction and the other. Hands, you may keep them on your waist or arms by the side, your choice. Moving in one direction and the other direction. Taking care of the ankles. And relax that foot. Inhale, lift the opposite foot off the mat. Circular movements. In first direction. Relax the foot, place it on the mat. Inhale, lift your heels off the mat and press your toes, massaging the toes. And now place your heels on the mat and lift the rest of the foot off the mat and start pressing, activating. And now place the outer edge of your foot on the mat and keep pressing. And finally, the inner edge of your foot. Massaging, taking care of each and every little particle. And eventually, feet on the floor. And we're ready to start our sun salutation sequence. So let's go to the front of the yoga mat. And on the next inhale, lift your arms up with a back bend, gentle back bend. 
Exhale, forward fold, tips of the fingers on the mat. You may bend your legs at the knees. Inhale into halfway lift, look right in front. Exhale, hands on the mat and step back into plank pose. Strong body. Relax the knees, relax the top of the feet. Bring the hips back and lower down and find your baby cobra. Inhale, slide into cobra pose. Shoulders away from the ears. Press the hands down, bring the hips back, find your downward dog, first downward dog for the day. You may keep your legs bent at the knees, but try to shift the weight from your wrist back towards your heels, and eventually your heels will reach the floor. And because this is our first downward dog, let's walk the dog, let's move the knees back and forth. And I'm listening to my body. I'm observing my body. And now let's remain still for a moment. And let's go into table pose. Table pose, top of the feet on the mat. Let's do a few cat cows. On the next inhale, before we start, actually I just want to uh, mention something. Make sure that your wrists and shoulders are aligned and your knees and hips are aligned and hips are, um, knees are hip width apart. On the next inhale, let's lift the head and lift the tailbone and look up. And as you exhale, arch your back, the back moves up towards the ceiling and bring the hips back. Inhale into table and look up. Exhale, arch the back and bring the hips back. What a nice stretch. Inhale into table, look up, your choice, if you want to smile, you may smile, and bring the back up, and hips back, last time, inhale, table pose, looking up, into cow pose, exhale, find your cat, and bring the hips back, inhale into table, and remain here, on the next inhale, lift one arm up, I will lift my left arm first, and look up. Keep your arm lifted, doesn't matter how high it's lifted. And at the same time, please check your, if your hips are moving to one side or, or the other. You really want to keep your hips and knees aligned. And release this arm. Inhale, right arm up and look up. Check your knees and hips, they should be aligned. And release this arm. On the next inhale, we're going to lift opposite arm and leg. If you have gentle knees, you may support your knee by folding your yoga mat. An alternative. So be kind with yourself. Inhale, right arm and left leg. We're going to lift them high, high, high up. And as we exhale, the elbow and the knee moves towards each other. So it's also a balancing movement. Inhale, try to lift, 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 lift. And as you exhale, elbow to knee. How is your breath? Inhale, lift, 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 and reach. And let's do two more of those. How is my body? Inhale, lift, 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 and reach. And last time, let's do our best to lift as high up as possible, and reach, and release. How is your body? Do you feel warmer, colder? How do you feel? Or it's the temperature is simply normal? Whatever it is, that's your body. On the next inhale, we're going to try the other side. Inhale, left arm and right leg, lifting, 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 high, high, high up, and the elbow moves towards the knee, and they touch eventually, if possible. Inhale, lift, and look up, and reach. Three more of these to go, look up, and elbow to knee. Breathing, smiling, enjoying this moment, and reaching. And last time, give it, do your best, and reach, and back to table pose. And let's go into take just some time to rest, and let's go into child's pose. Separate your knees, toes touching, bring the hips back. If it is too hard to sit on your heels, you may keep your, um, you may keep your uh, hips lifted. 
and walk your hands away from you. The chest is pressing down and you're relaxing. Relaxing the head. And while you're in this variation of child's pose, I invite you to separate your knees a bit more from each other so that you actually start feeling that opening in the hips. You don't want to keep it too simple and too easy. Yes, we are resting, but at the same time, we want to just give the body some time to also open and create more space. Inhale, back to table pose. Very slowly move the knees towards each other and let's go into downward dog. Tuck your toes, bring the hips back, find your downward dog. Let's move the knees back and forth. And on the next inhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale into halfway lift, look right in front. Exhale, tips of the fingers on the mat. Remember the option to keep your legs bent. And inhale, arms up with a back bend and release the pose and let's continue with a bit at a bit faster pace inhale arms up exhale forward fold inhale into halfway lift exhale hands on the mat step back into plank pose option is to repeat what we did last time knees and top of the feet on the mat and slide your and find your way into cobra pose another variation lower all the way down and find your cobra pose your choice you may stick with baby cobra or you may press your hands a bit harder and try to lift your chest and belly off the mat shoulders away from the ears bring the hips back find your downward dog tuck your toes and we're going to step forward with the right foot if it is too hard to step forward right away and place the left knee on the mat, you may first go into table pose and then step forward. Make this pose work for you, for your body. Whenever you're ready, lift your arms up and sink and lower. If you're looking for a deeper expression of this pose, you may work with the back bend, moving back and the arms are moving up and back. As you exhale, place the tips of the fingers on the mat and bring the hips back, straighten that front leg. If this is already enough of a challenge, observe your body. If you'd like to explore something else and you feel that now is the time, now is a good time, you may engage your upper body as well and moving from the hips forward and down, start moving down towards the leg. And eventually relax the head. How is your breath? Inhale, bend that leg at the knee. Keep the right hand on the mat or on top of a yoga block if it is too, if you need some height. Keep the right hand on top of the block or on your yoga mat and keep the other arm up. Lift the other arm up. And while you're here, I invite you to check just for a moment if your ankle and knee are aligned. You don't want to move your knee too much in or out. You will lose the balance easily. Exhale, release the hand, place it on the mat, and inhale, right arm up and look up. Release the pose. One more time, lift both arms up, sinking, lowering, opening. Palms in front of the heart center. You may remain here. Another variation is to start bringing your arms and twist over to the right side and place your left elbow on top of your left elbow on top of your right thigh and look above your right shoulder. release the pose lift your arms up and exhale hands on the mat and let's step back option table pose or straight into downward dog let's place the left foot in between both hands right knee on the mat right foot on the mat arms lifted opening the chest
and it's up to you to decide if you want to sink and lower or you simply want to keep your right knee really close to your you may keep your right knee closer and you're still in crescent in low lunge on the next exhale place the tips of the fingers on the mat bring the hips back and straighten the front leg you may keep it bent as well that's also an option you don't need to keep it completely straight and let's engage the upper body as well by lengthening and lowering relax the head inhale bend the leg at the knee keep the left hand on the mat or on top of a yoga block and lift the right arm up and look up as you exhale release that hand place it on the mat inhale left hand left arm lifted fingers pointing up towards the sky and release one more time lift both arms up opening the chest palms in front of the heart center please remain here or you may try to twist over to your left side and eventually right elbow on top of left thigh and gaze above the left shoulder and with each axle you may deepen the twist observe your body be kind with your body release the twist lift your arms up and place the hands on the mat tuck your toes and find your way to downward dog or for a stable pose and then downward dog walk the feet towards the hands halfway lift exhale tips of the fingers on the mat inhale arms up with a back bend and release one more time inhale arms up exhale forward fold inhale into halfway lift exhale hands on the mat step back or jump into plank pose you may place your knees on the mat top of the feet on the mat and find a way to cobra pose another variation chaturanga all the way down and inhale into upper dog the top of the feet are on the mat your knees are off the mat. Your chest is open. Tuck your toes, find your downward dog. On the next inhale, lift your right leg up, 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 and then over to the left. Keep the leg bent at the knee and bring it over to the left. Gaze under the left armpit. Look at your foot and the right foot and release that foot place it on the mat inhale lift the left leg back up high up bend it at the knee and bring it over to your right side release the foot place it on the mat and from here let's go into pigeon pose bring your right leg back bend it at the knee and place the right knee behind your right wrist right knee behind the right wrist pigeon pose and as you exhale place your forearms on the mat relax your head and find your sleeping pigeon in this pose you have two options you may keep the right foot closer to your pelvis or you may use it you may you use your hand and walk that foot move your foot away from you your choice we're opening the right the right hip creating space in the right side on the right side And while, you, while I'm in sleeping pigeon, I'm curious about my body. What is trying to attract my attention? Is it my hip? Is it my foot? Is it my ankle? Is it my 
back leg is it my back i don't avoid the messages that the body is trying to send me i listen to my body and with each exhale just visualize how your hips are opening and you're lowering down and whenever you're ready lift your head forehead off your hands place the hands on the mat tuck the toes in and step back into downward dog downward dog Bring your left leg back, bend it at the knee and place the left knee behind your left wrist. Remember the option, you may keep your foot closer to your pelvis or away. You also have the option to keep your left hip on the mat, it is your choice. Whenever you're ready, forearms on the mat, relax, you may interlace your fingers, relax your forehead. trying to tell me you're breathing in pigeon and exhaling breathing in breathing out on the next inhale lift your forehead place the hands on the mat and if it is too hard to step right away into downward dog you may simply bring the leg back into table pose and then find your downward dog walk the feet towards the hands halfway lift inhale tips of the fingers on the mat arms up and with a deep back bend and relax and we're ready for the balancing sequence three pose will be the first pose to go with let's begin with the left foot keep your toes on the mat if you feel like doing so foot on your calf muscle below the knee above the knee another variation place it on top of your thigh option two options for the hands palms in front of the heart center arms lifted your choice decide where you'd like to be and once you find that stillness and peace remain in the pose and observe and if you find that you're a master of this pose close your eyes just for a moment no matter where your foot is located no matter if your toes are touching when your foot is on your calf muscle or above the knee. Observe, explore, and learn. This journey of learning never ends. That's why we're here, to learn and become better human beings and be who we truly are compassionate, loving, caring. Deepen your breath. If you find that you're losing the balance, then return back to the pose without any judgment, with kindness. And very slowly release the pose, release your arms, relax your foot. And if you need to move your toes to lift your heels, go ahead and do so. If you need to massage your ankles, whatever your body needs, give your body some break. And let's begin with the other side. Right foot off the mat, your choice. You have this, actually I'm providing you with four options, toes on the mat calf muscle, inner thigh, air on top of your thigh, palms connected, right in front of your heart center, connecting with the beauty within, or arms lifted.
my body is like my temple. I want to take a good care of my body so that it may serve me longer. I'm not my body, I'm not my thoughts, but I need them. To accomplish my mission and every person has a special purpose and that's why we're here to discover why we are here what is our mission what is our goal what is our life purpose discovering the moment I lose my balance I deepen my breath and the sounds of my breath the sound of my breath actually attracts my attention and I feel grounded and relax the po release the pose relax your arms and if you feel like moving go ahead and do so we will continue with the next balancing pose remember you have the option to use wall you may place always one hand on the wall or on the chair to help you with these poses we will begin again with the left side we will lift the left foot off the mat and using the hands i'm going to place my hand on my shin i will try to bring my knee really close to my chest this is the first option let's remain here for a few moments and just try to find some stillness hmm. you may focus on an object that is completely still You may work with your breath. If you find that you're pretty still and you're pretty balanced in this pose and you like to explore something else, I'm going to offer some variations here. You may extend your right arm over to the right and you can slowly start bringing your left leg over to the left. If this is still okay, I invite you to bring your gaze over to the right and look above your right arm. What a great pose, you're balanced. You're, you're at the same time opening. And release the pose. If you need a sip of water at any point, do what your body tells you to do. Whenever you're ready, inhale. Let's start with the right foot. Lift your right foot off the mat. Use your hands. Bring the right knee towards your chest. Open your chest. How is my breath? Whenever you're ready, if you'd like to try, left arm to the left, or right leg to the right, gaze above the left arm. Breathing, being present, and relax the side. If you need to massage your toes, go ahead. I'm going to have a sip of water and then we'll continue with one more balancing pose. Warrior three is the next one. We will try to remain in the pose for about five breaths. On the next inhale, lift your arms up. Warrior three, getting ready. You may also use a chair if you wish and bring your left leg back as your upper body is moving forward and down. Eventually your arms and leg are parallel to them, they are parallel to the floor. Focus on an object that is completely still. Find a spot on the floor, on the mat, and release the pose back to standing relax your arms if you need to move a bit massage your toes and ankles go ahead 
Inhale, arms up, and let's try the other side. Bring the right leg back. For five breaths. And release the pose. Relax your arms. If you need to massage your toes, go ahead and do so. And let's continue with the seated sequence. Chair pose. Bring the hips back. You may keep your feet closer to each other and the knees closer or keep them certain distance apart, arms wide in front. Very powerful. Chair pose. How are your quad muscles? Keep breathing, lengthening. And on the next exhale, all the way down to the yoga mat. You're eventually sitting. And we'll do some poses for the abs. Let's do a few bold poses. And we will ground the feet, give ourselves a hug, lift and open the chest. Close the eyes for a moment and just visualize yourself before you even do it. Visualize yourself doing bold pose being in both pose and on the next inhale let's lift the feet off the mat arms by the side and let's remain here look at your toes be curious about your toes say hi to your toes you may even smile keep your arms by the side keep your back nice and long don't collapse too much how are your, your abs? One more breath here. And release the pose. Give yourself a hug. Close your eyes. Lift the chest. Hmm. Bold pose. Another variation of bold pose. Let's try to lift and straighten both legs if it is too hard you remember remember you always have the option to keep your legs bent at the knees inhale lift your legs option to keep them bent or keep them straight and start bringing the legs towards your chest try to lift your legs a bit higher and higher and release this pose give yourself a hug close your eyes hmm. inhale open the leg uh, the, the eyes and let's try um, one more variation with the index and middle finger reach for your big toe for the big toes and slowly start shifting the weight backwards. It's also a balancing pose. How to balance myself so I can slowly start lifting my feet. Even if you cannot lift your feet too much. Even they're lifted just a tiny bit. That's your first step. Slowly start lifting your legs. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Until eventually your legs are straight. And remember the option to use a yoga strap. Or a yoga belt. I've seen yoga participants who weren't able to grab their index, uh, to grab their big toes with the index and middle finger, but they were able to go into the pose with the use of a prop, the yoga strap. And release this pose. Give yourself a hug, close your eyes. And you may open your eyes and let's use the long side of the yoga mat. Separate your legs away from each other. Activate your toes, flex your toes. 
place your hands right in the middle and start walking the hands away from you. You're moving forward and down from the hips, not from the back, from the hips, forward and down towards the mat. Yes, I'm fully aware what's, my, what's happening in my inner thighs. Yes, I'm here to observe. Relax your head. And with each exhale, just visualize how your body lengthens and opens and lowers. Lengthens, opens, lowers. And walk your hands over to the left and you may grab your foot if you wish. Or you may place your hands on your shin or you may grab your ankle. Anywhere on your leg is fine. Then try to pull your body and lower it down. So you want to lengthen and lower. From here, walk the hands back to center and over to the other side. to center and back towards yourself let's place the feet the soles of the feet together butterfly pose interlock your fingers place your hands right underneath remember to lift and open and allow your heart to shine and start lifting your butterfly pose lift your knees up and down opening the hips taking care of the body. Each time I try to lower my knees a bit more and to open my hips a bit more. Let's remain still for a moment and you have the option to remain here. Another option is to use your hands and to open the soles of the feet and with your elbows, if you have this off, um, if you may lower a bit more, you may use your elbows to press your calf muscles down and the upper body moves down towards the floor. Relax the head. By opening the feet you're pre and pressing the calf muscles down, you're lowering your knees and opening the hips. And on the next inhale, back to your seated. Keep your left leg bent and place the right one right on top of it. If it is too much for you, you may always keep the bottom leg straight. Just to clarify, my left leg is underneath, the right one is on top. My chest is open. Lift your left arm up, uh, this is my right arm up, right arm up and twist over to the left. Place your right elbow on top of your right knee and look above your left shoulder and with each exhale I'm deepening my twist and I'm opening inhale lift the left arm up and twist over to the right, gaze above the right shoulder. Left elbow on top of right thigh. Inhale, both arms up. As you exhale, tips of the fingers on the mat. And let's switch legs. Right leg underneath, left leg on top. Option to keep the bottom leg straight. Sitting bones grounded on the mat. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift your left arm up and twist over to the right, looking above the right shoulder. Inhale, lift the other arm up and twist 
over to your left and look above your left shoulder exploring deepening working with the back engaging these back muscles Inhale, arms up, and exhale, tips of the fingers on the mat, extend both of your legs. Make sure that there is enough space behind you because we're going into lying down on the mat. Arms extended, and very slowly, breath by breath, start lowering down until you're eventually on the mat. All the way down to the yoga mat, arms by the side. And before we go into Shavasana, I would like to offer one more opportunity for you to work with your ab muscles. On the next inhale, we're going to lift both legs up. And we're going to place the hands on the back of the head. Elbows are pointing up. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the head and bring the right elbow over to the left, towards the left knee. As you exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your head and move over to your right side. And lower down. Inhale, lift your head and over to your left side. And down. And yes, it is normal. The body reacts and they are observed and lift the head and over to the right and down let's do three more rounds inhale over to your left and down on the next inhale over to the right and down two more to go inhale over to the left and down and to the right and down last time inhale to the left and down happy abs and to the right and down knees towards your chest give yourself a hug and close eyes and relax for a moment in the final pose i promised before shavasana it's a very gentle spinal twist extend your arms over to the side at shoulder height and bring your legs over to the left gaze above the right arm gentle spinal twist giving the body rest and preparing the body for shavasana inhale knees towards the chest and bring the legs over to your right side gaze above the left arm inhale knees towards the chest extend your legs and find your way to the final pose shavasana chest open shoulder blades moving towards each other arms by the side palms facing up allow your feet to open and drop in opposite direction and close your eyes and enjoy the spinal pose Allow your body to take care of itself now by giving the body some rest. And I will be in seated and I'll guide you from seated. Keep your eyes closed. Allow your body to relax fully and completely. Bring your attention to your feet. And relax your feet. Bring your attention to your ankles. 
and relax your ankles. Bring your attention to your shins and calves. And if there is anything, release and relax your shins and calf muscles. Slowly bringing the attention up to the knees and relaxing the knees. Bring your attention to your thighs and hips and relax your thighs and hips. Bring your attention to your belly and lower back and relax your belly and lower back. Bring your attention to your chest and upper back and relax your chest and upper back. Bring your attention to your heart and relax your heart. Bring your attention to your shoulders and arms and relax your entire arms, your shoulders, elbows, wrists and hands, everything is completely, completely relaxed. Relax your neck. Relax your jaw, your chin and cheeks. Relax your mouth and tongue. Relax your nose and your eyes. Relax your forehead and your entire face. Relax your head. Relax your whole body. I relax my body. I relax my body. My body is relaxed. very slowly bring your attention to your breath and deepen your breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Wiggle your toes, your fingers, move your head from side to side. You may bring your arms overhead and give yourself a nice stretch. Bring your knees towards your chest and give yourself a hug and rock from side to side, left to right and right to left. Roll over to your right side and pose there for a moment. Using your left hand, you may press your left hand down and find your way to seat it with legs crossed. Palms in front of heart center, connecting with the beauty within, connecting with the truth within, connected who you, with who you truly, truly are, and speaking from the heart. Let's bring the thumbs within the eyebrows and send a kind thought to yourself.
comes closer to your lips and repeat and mentally let my words be kind and send a kind word or words to everyone who practice yoga with you this morning or afternoon wherever you are Comes closer to your heart and repeat mentally, let my actions be kind and do something kind for someone who is in need whenever there is an opportunity. May all beings be happy, be in peace and be free from fear and negativity. The divine in me bows to the divinity in you. Namaste. Let's practice mindfulness. If you'd like to join me for mindfulness, we will stay for another five minutes. And it will be completely in silence today. And the main focus today is the body. Observing the body, connecting with the body. And I invite you today to focus on one special part of your body, and that is your heart. Stay focused on your heart, no matter how hard it is. Bring your attention to your heart. If there is a thought, become aware of that thought. Yes, I'm thinking, that is completely normal. I'm a human being, I'm thinking. And then return your attention to your breath and from your breath down to your heart. And let's give it a try. Staying connected, connected with the heart, focusing on the heart. Take a comfortable, seated position. You may sit on a chair with feet on the floor or simply with legs crossed and you may use a wall if you wish to support your back. Relax your shoulders, hands on your laps, close your eyes and bring your attention to your heart. Stay focused on your heart and remember if you are distracted become aware and the moment you become aware, you have the power to change that pattern and do what you wish. And let's begin.
very slowly start wiggling your toes, your fingers, your head from side to side. Rub your hands. Place your palms on top of your eyelids. And whenever you're ready, you may open your eyes and enjoy and be happy. Thanks for joining me and for practicing with me. Namaste.